Hello everyone, this video will talk about questions such as, um, right, as this question shown, right, talking about K and then how it's related to the strength of the acid or their conjugate base or the other way around. So then we have to understand this, stuff, this type of question really is testing us about which concept. Okay, so now first thing first, right, we quickly realize, okay, talking about conjugate base and then we see the listing, right, the list has a, a, a several choices of acids. Okay, so then again, if we do have some weak acid, and I'm going to use the generic form HA. Okay, and then if we do, right, we are wondering about their conjugate base. Okay, so then what's this weak acid's conjugate base, right? What's the acid, right? Definition donating a proton. So after I donate a proton, I end up with this conjugate base, this anion A minus. Okay, so together they're conjugate acid base pair. Okay, so and then again they have a relationship. Okay, so this is also what we have talked about, right? We do use Ka to to express the strength of acid. Okay, so then that conclusion will be larger K value giving us stronger acid. Okay, so then that's the relationship first thing first, how we can use the given K value to determine, okay, this acid was their strength. Okay, we can do the comparison. Okay, so now again, the question is asking us about their conjugate base. So then how the weak acid and their conjugate base are related, then we need to bring the other concept, Ka, and KB and what's their relationship. Okay, so this is also what I have discussed, right? So KA times KB will equal to KW. KW means what, right? It's a constant, that, uh, constant for water alkalinization. Okay, so then that's a constant. Then now we know you, if you have two values, such as KA and times KB, two values multiply equals to a constant. So what's their relationship, right? They are inversely. Okay, so which means if this is larger, this will be smaller right value wise okay so now if we know the relationship okay so now let's put into this content itself right earlier that's just about math okay so now it's about the content right so if we say larger k value we discussed earlier that means stronger acid so which means if you have stronger that weak acid and then its conjugate base will be what weak right okay or weaker okay so in in terms of comparison wise then let's get some space okay so then that's it and then again now that i see for our question it's in uh, it's asking us about the conjugate base which one is the strongest okay so now again we're not looking for the conjugate base who is weakest we're looking for the conjugate base as the stronger so then let's put that down if we want stronger now you know they are inversely right related to each other. So if you want to conjugate base stronger, what well, we need the acid to be, we want to find the weakest acid, and therefore its conjugate base will be the strongest. Okay, so then weakest acid. How's it related to K value? If we're looking for weak acid, then which means we're looking for the smallest Ka value. Okay, so now you do your observation, okay, among the given values, which so means the smallest, of course, right? We need to remember how, right, at the exponents and the way it re uh, represents and then how the values are. So then now you can make your final choice about this question. Okay, so again, this question itself should, could be a very simple question, but testing you about K value, where it represents, and then how we use that to express the strength of acid and then how the weak acid and their conjugate base related and their relationship. Okay, so then that's about this video. Thank you for watching.